or bring us up. How about that? Hi, Cindy. Hello. <laughs> I forgot to bring us up. Then I was busy arranging these photos. Sorry. That's okay. I know how to click on things. That's awesome because you know how to you know how to start a show. Hi, everybody. Here we are, Sunday, and this is a big show. We're not going to waste too much time. Did I read yeah. that Felicia got adopted? She sure did. Yep, and um, she just arrived in her new home in the, in Oregon yesterday. All right. She was on the show on the 14th. Yep. And um, nice, nice work. Uh, Felicia got adopted. There's been others that's been adopted on the show. So we got to get some more of them adopted. That's why we're here. Yeah. Hi, Lori. Of, um, I'm sorry. Oh, oh Lori says Laurie. hello. Yep. Hi, Lori. I didn't see that one. I'm scrolling down all these pictures to get down to, well, where we can bring uh, our features up, man. We're going to, we're trying to get 20 dogs on today. So I better shut up and let's get going. Yep. Here's a sample. got to start going on right now don't we hi stephanie hello hello oh stephanie's voice got deep um yeah uh, <laughs> stephanie's got like big a uh, lot of business card names um you you actually have your own rescue don't you stephanie i do we just started it so we're still waiting on approval for our 501c3, but we have started our Skippy Skippins Rescue and Recap. Um, and it's named after Skippy, which is our GPRS alum. Wow, that right. that's awesome. So our goal um, is to take in dogs that may be have behavioral or health issues from the area that would otherwise be put down since a lot of our shelters are overcrowded. Um, to be able to pull those and hopefully give them a, a, a second chance. Plus, we wow. are in a very rural area that is a no dumping ground. So we take a lot of dogs in from being dumped. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to ask Sydney to take over because I'm, I'm going to, um, as we bring the dogs up, I want to be able to have their names up so people don't forget them. And uh, now we've got dogs that aren't peers coming on too, don't we? Yep. Yes, we yep. do. And who do you have there first? Ziggy. This is Ziggy. Ziggy. You're up, Sydney. All right. So Ziggy, he has um, bi-colored eyes. So one eye is part blue and the other one is brown, right? Yes, brown yeah. with part blue. So he has weird heterochromia. Yeah. 
His and brown eye has sharp blue. He's pretty big, right? Yeah. Yeah. He is probably about. I'm gonna change the camera here. Baby, come here. Come here. Okay. Well, set with daddy. That's fine. <laughs> set with daddy. That's fine. So he has an interesting heterochromia because one eye is blue with a little bit of brown in it, and one eye is brown, which you can't see because it's all squishy up, with a little bit of blue in it. Yeah, he is striking. He's very, very pretty. We didn't have too many pictures of him up yet because at the shelter they shaved him all funky and his oh. hair is just now growing. His hair is just now growing back in. Yeah. So he's not. He's not as pretty as he will be, but he's very pretty. I don't know. Sure. He's pretty good in that picture. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good looking boy. boy. He is, isn't he? Yeah. He he's a big cuddle. Um, he's very playful. He's a big cuddle bug. He loves cuddles. Say hello. Um, how, how old is he? I think they said he was four, but okay. he's, if he's four, he's a young bork. He <laughs> definitely has the occasional energy burst, but he's he's a cutie pie. He likes to play with people. A um, little less on the other doggies, but okay. but loves but loves people. Um, he plays with doggies for just a minute, and then that's about it. Okay. Right. I don't um, think that he knows how to play with doggies very well, and so he don't understand if they're being playful or if they're being aggressive. So he's kind oh. of big. You see what I'm saying? So he's kind of big, so he gets a little scary to the smaller dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he is what well, he's about ninety-five pounds. Uh no. Yeah. No, he's no. about 110. Oh, oh okay. geez. Wow. <laughs> so we need to we need to have his weight updated then. Yeah. 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 That 95 no. has been some time ago. He's okay. been a good eater since then. So he's he's probably about 110. He's he's good though. Say we're growing some hair back because we're getting some yeah. good groceries. Getting some good groceries in there. <laughs> well, he clearly is just a great big marshmallow. He <laughs> is very lovey. Yeah. He wants to be around his people. How is he with other dogs? Um, he doesn't really care one way. Oh, you're gonna get a paw. There you go, Daddy. The infamous pure paw. Yeah, he loves to give some loving. He's good with other dogs and the fact that he doesn't want to have nothing to do with them. But he cool. won't, he, won't, he won't really play with them so much. But he he definitely is not aggressive towards them. He would just be not having much to do with them. Okay. Okay. And how long have you had him? Baby, when did we get him? I mean, we've only had him for a couple months, maybe three. Oh, okay. All right. So... We might have got him in November, maybe, but or maybe October. But he's not not too long. He's a he's a very sweet boy, though. Look at him; he's all st stretched out. Let Daddy rub yeah. that belly. I was going to say he looks comfortable. Now is he a great he's Pyrenees Rescue Society dog? Sorry, I talked yes, over you. Yes, GPRS dog. Yes, this is a GPRS dog, um, and and we're glad that they pulled him because he is just such a beautiful baby he's so sweet he's so pretty inside and out he just wants to love so he's wow. a big cuddle he's a big cuddle he would do great as an only or maybe with an older dog that doesn't have much energy it's the younger ones that jump all over him that he doesn't know how to deal with baby <laughs> you just trying what? to lay on top of him. Yeah, how about that Probably about the same way about dogs. He seems to be like non interested. Non interested. Do you have any idea if he's been around cats before? We she do. Um, I did. I answered it. He he's been around. Um, we had a cat here, um, but only briefly, and I think it only came through once or twice. And that was in someone's arms, but he didn't really care about it one way or the other. Um, okay. I think he feels about I think he feels about cats like he would about other dogs. Okay. Which is just he doesn't want to have much to do with them. Yeah. yeah. For our viewers, so they understand a little bit better. Our producer isn't here today. 
And um, so we're trying to focus on some of the other stuff too. And that's why Sydney asked about the castle after we explained because she was focused and she didn't hear. Okay. And so if we ask a question that's been covered, that's why we did it. All right. Look at this um, baby. So well, I don't know about that. You see any Akbosh in him? Yeah, he he's got little curls to him. He's a good boy. I got a little, I got a little paw. I got that's a little one, that's one long leg, isn't it? I, it was long, right? You see it? Yeah, Look at yeah. that dirty, you see that dirty toe? He's been out in the mud. You see them dirty toes? But yeah, yeah. He, I wow. kind of got a pink paw to my face. Yeah, that about answers the Akbosh question. So he's a long-legged peer, huh? He's he's got some legs. He's got some legs. All right, he's a good boy. This well, awesome. are you ready to yeah. get baby? Yes, pause, pause, pause. Mwah. Now Love we're ready. ready. We are absolutely Love that ready. Baby. For Love that baby. Love that baby. Okay, we gotta go get Rita and Barney. All right. Okay, don't okay, just in the right order. That's awesome. Big Zeekers. He's oh, I just love him. oh, he's he's an angel. Here. So he's got he brought his toy in with him, so we're gonna <laughs> take him with his toy <laughs> Which is and funny because he doesn't, doesn't really play with it. No. no, this one is still Ziggy. We're trying to get him out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're switching out. Okay. In the meantime, you, you can see my Pyrenees is back here, Samson. He is also a GPRS alum. He um, wants to eat the rest of his breakfast and he's hungry, but he wants me to hand feed it to him. So he is fussing around okay, me. Okay, and the problem with that is? I don't yeah. understand. I'm busy. That's the problem. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't know. I was on the show yeah. hand feeding uh, Zoe one day. Yeah. Well, the food is in like two rooms away. So. All right. Um, so well, Great you can Pyrenees hear Rescue the dog him. Okay. So GreatPyrenesRescueSociety.org. That's where you go to apply for Ziggy. And I believe Barney. Uh oh, we're going to do the uh, M litter now. No, I just came in to check on them since we're waiting on Barney. But there's the M okay. letter. Preview. Yeah. yeah, you're going to have there's all pretty. seven. Of, no, there's seven of them. Is that correct? Yes. And this one right here is Miss Chris. There's the one you like. Oh, that's Miss Chris. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Well, she's, trying um, to the <laughs> she's trying to get the phone. That's Miss Chris. Oh, you got the live one. I'm going to. This Wait, one uh, Stephanie, here. which one is behind her? This is Morgan. That's May. Aww. May is what I always said. Never mind. Coloring. Morgan, she thinks she's got to be in everything. At least they're not all white. At least they're not all white, all of them. This one right here is Meatball. Any this idea right what here? they're mixed with besides Great Pyrenees? Some kind of bully. This one right okay. here is Mina. That's Mina. Uh, Morgan's busy biting me. <laughs> well, you literally have Morgan. your hands full. Stop. Oh. She's got to get little gremlin teeth. Look at these teeth. They're like little gremlins. See those little gremlin teeth? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. How you doing? What do you think of all these puppies? This one right here is Maddox. Bonnie's a great Pyrenees uh, person, and it looks like she might be uh, getting a Newfoundland. How are you going to do your wardrobe, Bonnie? You'll have uh, white dogs. You don't want to wear black. Then you'll have black dogs, and you're not going to want to wear white. Okay, right here. Okay, here's Dad. Oh, here we go. Hey, baby. Come on. All right. Okay, you're yeah. back okay. up. Uh, this baby right here is Rita. And this baby right here is Barney. Barney's trying to get my lap. <laughs> <laughs> this is Barney. Hey, Barney. They <laughs> look young, are they? They are seven months. Yep. Nine. Got the curly hair. So wow. they both they both were altered this week, and so they're they're pretty playful still, but maybe a little less so than they normally are. But here's Rita. Hey, baby. 
And she's a good girl. Rita's all kisses, if you can't tell. She has tons of licks. Lots of kisses. Barney's a big kisser, too. He's a big kisser, too. He's got a cute face. He almost looks more the coat, but that's an old picture there, so... Um. But he can't not, remember. He's in. Uh, he's in. Was a Great Pyrenees Rescue. So he's got to be Great Pyrenees, right? You need to shut the door. Do they have, um, Stephanie, do they have double dew claws? It looks like these two don't. Uh yes. Um, yeah. Actually, Barney has double dews, and Rita has one single dew in the back. Okay. But but Barney does have double dews. And that's what he does. Are they literally yes, they are. the same? Okay, that's why. That's Barney and that's Rita. Yes, and these are brother wow. and sister, and they play together, and they are very, very sweet. There's Riri. She's busy checking things out. Here's Barney. Hey, how do they get along with the others? How do they get along with Barney's real good. Um, he likes to, he gets overexcited and occasionally he likes to try to get a little frisky with some of the bigger dogs. <laughs> oh, so which, he's annoying with other dogs. Which I can tell you uh, for a fact has aggravated Ziggy on multiple occasions. Um, <laughs> so we don't let him out with Ziggy no more. Uh, but. Ah. So he was the puppy you were talking about. Yeah, as long as they don't have much energy and they stay away from him, he's okay with dogs. If he has, oh, ugh. but this hey. one right here is that Barney. <laughs> <laughs> he was born to be a lap dog. He is so up on my lap, <laughs> but like he's trying oh, to be all kissy kissy. They're good they're really looking. Are they available? They're too? Are they? Are they they are available. Both of these are available for adoption. So they are off hold. And wow. they are both really sweet yeah. and very pretty. And they are. Did she get a treat? Yeah. Here, let me have Riri. And they are very playful, as like seven month old puppies are. They're very playful. And they do come when you call them. Um, I just call them with puppies. <laughs> But Riri does know her name, and so does Barney. They are crate trained. They actually just go straight in their crates. Um, wow. Barney, don't be a pig. So they so are. Barney um, eats more than she does. Uh, they both are pretty good eaters. Barnes, <laughs> hey Barnes, hey Rita. But they are. They're very good. They're very sweet. Um, still seven months right. old, so still would need an adult dog around. But they're. Very good babies. Very good. Now, uh, you, do you have any Honestly, cats around that that uh, that you can test them with at all? I don't even know that answer. Um, I do not have any cats anymore. So okay. my my son with the cat moved out, and I don't have cats here anymore. So you can't cat test so them, nope, but nope. You, but you have an idea if you think they would be okay with cats by the way they act around other animals like squirrels and stuff, never mind a bad example. Uh. Yeah, I was fixing to say, I can tell you what happens with a squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> the same the thing that happens with most of them. Squirrels are yeah. exciting, so. Cats are yeah, probably squirrel. exciting, too. Could they be probably programmed to be better around cats? Yes. And they're still young and impressionable. They can probably be be brought around some cats and as long as boundaries are kind of introduced pretty early they'd probably be all right okay hey cool. baby this one right here is rita hey, rita. hey is rita. that a camera angle or she got that long of a nose no that's a camera she's up in my face <laughs> and these that's a camera are, angle yeah barney and rita are available through gprs yes these are great pyrenees Rescue Society puppies. Very pretty. Very pretty puppies. Very sweet puppies. Super right sweet. So if somebody wants something playful and sweet, these are some good babies. Awesome. Great Pyrenees Rescue Ain't Society. Right. There's more born. And that's where Rita and Barney are. Yeah. All right. Yes, they okay. are. 
Hey, Barnes. Well, Stephanie. All right, y'all ready we, to go? Yeah, who do we have next? We have, well, I don't think he's on the uh, intro yeah, just on because it. he's not actually available yet. So do we want to show Fritz? Um, I don't yeah, have I any If we have time, how about at the end, uh, if we still have time? Okay, let's, let's do, um, let's do, let's do. I want to see Pinto. Let's do Madison. Let's do Madison. Let's okay, do Madison all the GPRS dogs. Yes, okay. we'll do all the GPRS dogs first. That's a good idea. Oh, hey, baby. Confuse everybody. Yeah, we'll do all the GPRS okay. dogs first. Hey, Barnes. He's a cutie pie. And we'll bring out Miss Mad. Madison is, I don't know. How old do you think Miss Mads is? A couple years? She is a very sweet girl, very shy, um, timid, loves big males, uh, is kind of a little bit reactive to new people at first but we're still working on that so madison oh, is kind of a people? yeah she's is kind of a work in progress she is okay. an abuse case from um forney and she okay. is just kind of a training tip, training tip of the day uh, that's not to you stephanie you know this uh for anybody any, uh, any of our viewers you go over to a friend's house got great pyrenees and and they say, hey, he doesn't do well at first. Ignore the dog. Don't look at the dog. Don't talk to the dog. Don't touch the dog. And just because a dog comes up to you doesn't mean the dog wants to be touched. That means he's just now comfortable enough to sniff you so you might be able to touch him. Okay? And yes. don't worry. As time goes by, that dog will be very annoying with the pear paw in no time. But it's got to be the dog's timing. He's got. To, he's the one that's got to be comfortable, he or she. All right, that's your training tip of the day. Because Madison, um, we have a girl that helps us with the dogs. There's a lot of howling going on in the dog room, sorry. Madison, we have someone that helps us with the dogs, and she did exactly what she said. Didn't look her in the eyes, just kind of sat sideways to her all the time, let her get used to her being around. And now, it didn't take very long for Madison to kind of warm up. Hey, awesome. baby. Again, that's the camera angle. She's, yeah, okay. she's a pretty girl. And now, hey, man. now, according to her name right there on the screen, that's a GPRS and dog also, and exit stage left, or stage right, actually. Yes, she's, she's going away. She's she's not used to being here because the other dogs are in here. And I've got yeah. some pictures of her, so we don't have to have her up for very long, okay? Um, we've got four, uh, four pictures, but I'm going to not put the pictures up long. She's sitting there. Well, she's good with your husband. Oh, she's good with lots of people. She just got to get used to you. Once she's used to you, she's great. Okay. She'll oh. roll over and give Bailey. She's going to roll over. She's going to come to me because she wants kisses. So she's All she's right. a good girl. Very kissy wow. kissy. She is good looking. But I tell you what, one of her pictures she's of her is she's stunning in this picture. I just love that picture. She's very pretty. This girl has a beautiful coat. Oh, there's a nose. She has a beautiful coat, and she is. Oh, there's a paw. Hey, baby. Yeah. And she and is a good girl. Very good. How long have you had her? She was. I no, that. I think last. Oh. I think it's like last April or something. She's been here for okay. a while. Okay. She's, and, um, she's been a work in progress. Right. So, how long did it take for her to become comfortable with one of you? Um, you know, with me, not so long. Even with Jason, probably about all. Oh, you gonna get some lovin's? You giving daddy lovin's? Um, See, Jason's not a good example because he's a dog magnet. So probably, well, they all love me too. So probably a couple, a couple of weeks, two, three weeks. For her to get to where we could like be close to her. Oh, now I'm getting a paw too. So <laughs> On my face. Is, um, <laughs> patience is a very good thing. Yes, patience and being quiet. If you handled her and you're kind of soft spoken. Okay, well, we're going to put her up real fast. Okay. Um, okay. Because someone's trying to come in. So I got to put Madison in. Okay. 
Okay, so, so put somebody her else wants the camera, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> My family is coming home and they're they're wanting to come in. And she's good with all of them, but we don't want to okay. make her um, wonder what's happening here. Well, I feel bad. I, you don't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have to keep your family out of there because of the show. Oh no, no, it's okay. It's a family show. Um, she, she, she's good with all of my family. And how long did all it right. take her for to get good with my family? As soon as she was good with myself, and why don't you bring ranch in? Ranch. Yeah, bring ranch. As soon as she was good with ranch. myself all and right. Jason, she, she's been boy. pretty good with the others. Yeah, ranch is a good boy. Sorry that you're having to look at my, uh, look at my living room. I mean, my kids could come in. They don't have to hide. Oh, I guess so they think were, they cannot. Okay, I don't feel bad anymore. They were, they, they were. Taylor, you can come in. No, don't be sorry. I've got the puppies in the in the study. We were outside. Huh? Okay, <laughs> and there's the puppies. <laughs> At least it's not raining. And litter puppies. Okay. Right. Ranch is a goofball. He's a 145-pound goofball. Big boy. He is a big boy. Run in. And, he, on, and he's not there. Come on in, plug in. Oh. My. He it's hard is. to tell depth perception on the computer, though. But yeah. I got an idea how big Jason is, and that's yeah. There, yeah. Now, now we can see that he is really big. Yeah, um, with the angle. Yeah, he is. Huge. Yeah, he is very large. 145. No, 145. 145. He's very oh. large. I'm trying to get where he looks. <laughs> he's looking at me. Maybe. Nope. He's sniffing the ground. <laughs> He is a big boy. He is a goofball and a very big sweetheart. This boy is good with all dogs. He is really good with kind of almost aggressive playing dogs. He likes to play rough. Um, he can be a little gentle too, but he's definitely, he, he likes the ones that like to be rough and tumble. Is he young? Yeah, he's gotten a little portly since those pictures. He's got a little portly since those pictures. Um, he's like, "What? Did you see him?" He was like, "What are you doing back there?" But his coat has come in nicely. When we got him from DAS, he didn't have much hair left, and what he did have was kind of nasty. Don't give him one yet. Is he also a GPRS dog? This yeah, is a GPRS dog. Ranch is, um, uh, he, oh, there he is. He is, um, rescued from, he's only a couple years old. He's rescued from Dallas Animal Shelter. He was an abused case. Look at that sweet baby. He's a big yeah. Um, he is, he came in with a pity, and both of them, the abuse was really more neglect and he's actually a big big baby when it comes to storms and stuff he, he doesn't do well baby can you please go shut that door you need to start shutting that door but because it's getting yeah uh, uh, he's a big baby when it comes to storms we'll tell you that he needs to be cuddled <laughs> and have music on and you need to move about two feet, Stephanie, or and because your signal is weird. Is it? If you can. Yeah, you're cutting out a little bit now, and you were not before. Oh, that's funny. I haven't moved at all, but you never know. Huh. Hey, you're back. Um, are we um, better? We, we never lost okay. the video, um, so we said we kept ranching uh, in sight. There he is. He's a big one. He's happy. You can see he's a good guys. Um, I will give you a heads up, and the heads up is don't jog with him because he's not a good jogger. He likes to take your legs out. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> and then, so you, not only. 
Not only does he take your legs out, but then he drags me down the street. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> so I won't do that one, anymore. Is he the one that loves car rides? He, yes. This is the one that likes to jump fences and go visit the dogs behind us. And then the he loves... Story. Well, when he hears my baby, he, there you go. There you go. So that's a good sit. When he hears my car coming down the street to come pick him up from his roamings, he knows it's my car. And so as I was telling you the other day, I have my windows down and all I could hear was click, 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 click behind me. And he was chasing the car. He loves to get in the car and then he's nothing but smiles and slaughter. Um, so he's he's happy to go walk about and he loves to get in the car and go for rides. Isn't that right, so baby? How, how tall is your fence, Stephanie? Um like my fence is not that tall? good. It's only about five feet, but I have seen him clear six. I've seen him clear oh, six. Right. Um because he's not short. Like if we had him stand up, he can put his forearms on like my shoulders and kind of drape over um yeah. so on a six foot fence he kind of stands on the bottom and then drapes his four legs over and then just kind of pushes himself over so he's okay. he's quite he's quite creative in his getting out madison also is a fence jumper <laughs> and she's a little yeah. bit different about it she actually she loves chain link because she can stick her toes in there and and kind of uh, walk up like it Jane links her ladder. Yeah. Yeah. So she, she kind of, okay. she's gotten quite creative as well. Um, okay. They want to get somebody else out. So there's Ranch. He's a big boy. He's okay. A so what kind of boy. fence would you think? What kind of fencing do you think would be best for for both of them, Madison and um, and Ranch? Well, Madison will require a wooden one, probably for sure, okay. or at least something okay. that's not chain link. And Ranch, he's probably okay with anything as long as it's tall enough. He doesn't really okay. use the okay. chain link like Rad like Madison does, but he, so he does. Leaps. Yeah, he leaps. He he's a jumper, and he he's a very strong jumper. Fence, so he jumps to the top of it and then yeah. goes on over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So coyote rollers would would cure that yeah. if they're strong enough. He's you got, got he's got. He's got some very muscular legs, and so he he's he's pretty tall too. He's got muscular legs and he's tall, so he has a tendency to kind of clear pretty much anything. Okay. Um, because he's gotten away from us before, but like I said, he goes and visits the neighbor, so they put him in there, and they have a six foot fence. Well, he unvisited them <laughs> and came back really? our direction, so, no, so he decided he visited our... stuff. But none of the fences so far that he's gone over are, are any of them privacy fences where there's no footholds. Um, nope, I don't think so. Okay, so so that could work. Fences hold a lot of dogs in, um, but always remember, if he's got an opportunity to go under, he will even a slightest opportunity he'll make it an opportunity because they're opportunist. So, who's he, this now? Yeah. Okay. So and I think, yeah. Uh -huh. And I, I think it's helpful. Like th this is always the kind of information that we do share with potential adopters, and that we would, you know, probably look to people who had experience with dogs who were a Houdini, and they could, you know, so that they were they were right. equipped. And the other thing of that is too, there's other ways to keep them contained while you're keeping them contained in a safe way. And there's other ways because once there's uh, it's more inviting to stay on that side of the fence, they'll quit going on that side of the fence, uh, yeah, unless there's a good reason. Now, which well, one's this? Look at this, this one. This one is a Skippy Skippins rescue. This is Cooper. Cooper, Cooper is a pure lab mix. Cooper is a pure lab mix with his full pure mama's double dues which you can't see because he's sitting on them well <laughs> there they are see double dues wow. he is this boy is just wall-to-wall -wall energy um he's got that lab derpiness 
And he he is just a really, really good boy. Got the eyeliner, got his mama's blue claws. He's a. You said a lab (laughs) pure mix? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He looks Anatolian to me, but then again, I'm not an Anatolian expert. Well, now I don't. I don't know what else might be in there. But <laughs> right. Right. Now he's but, got a brother you know, in with him, doesn't he? Yes. And That's and, and the brother the brother looks just like him, but no double do claws. And oh. the sister looks nothing and the sister looks nothing like any of them. And who's Why do sister? we know the sister is the healer mix? Oh, okay. Baby girl. So there. This one, there we go. There's Cooper. Oh yeah. No, that's, he, that's off. That's from Kramer's page. Here's Cooper. Oh well, there you go. There's Cooper and Kramer. They are both. They look a lot alike. I'm not gonna lie. The only that. difference really is, is the feet. There's Kramer. See, no, Kramer does see, not have any rear dues. No rear right. dues. It's that photo that made me think that they would have Anatolian in them, but man, I can't pick an Anatolian out like I can, uh, like an Akbos or something. Well, he's a cutie what? pie, so he's, is he just about a year? Yes, he's just about a year. Um, we got them um, last March, and they were not very old. Mama was a full peer. And she was out roaming. She dropped these three puppies off, I guess, somewhere where she thought they might be okay. And and the people there started feeding and watering them. And Mama kind of kept the distance but kept an eye on the puppies. And then eventually, I guess, she saw that they were getting taken care of and she walked away. Oh, so wow. we inherited. So we inherited this puppy and his brother and his sister. Um, Kathy Clements, who's also a GPRS foster, took them in for a long time, and then we took them over uh, to give her some space and and to work with them on some leashes and things like that. This boy, he does walk on a leash. you got to get the initial uh, crazy out of him when he first gets out. I like that. The initial crazy. Yeah. So he's one of the initial crazy. He's still... He definitely needs a dog buddy who is going to play with him. And that's Skip yeah. Skippin's he rescue is. and rehab. Now, where would they go to uh, apply to adopt Cooper and Kramer? Are they? Do they well, have a we have, uh, at um, GPRS? They do, and we have been so grateful that uh, Melise has allowed. Um, well, she's just done a lot for us. I'm not going to lie, and she's the reason we even. And have started doing this was we first started CPS fosters back in 21 and we fell so in love with the breed and we fell so in love with rescue that we decided to kind of help out in our area and with any kind of overflow that GPRS would have we have a ton of GPRS dogs as you well know um, we still have two GPRS we haven't looked at but uh they would just apply. I think it's an RG, a pet finder, or a dog pet. Um, but we we will try to hopefully get something up soon. Like I said, we just started this week um, a Facebook page and things like that. But okay. uh, please go to Great so, Pyrenees Rescue Society so to look Pyrenees for Rescue, to look so for Cooper. Great, so Great Pyrenees Rescue Society dot org is where you go for Kramer and Cooper, and the other ones of yours we're bringing up. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, baby girl. Can you go get, uh, let's get Kramer since they look so much alike. We'll just get the other one out. He's bigger. He and we don't have to bigger. keep him as Kramer's long, bigger uh, than Cooper. Oh, he is. Okay. No. So, all right. So, these are all tall. They're tall. They're leggy. And then we've got Kramer's even taller than Cooper. And so, wait until you see baby girl. Uh, she's kind of like... I don't know if you can say this on here, but she acts like she's got crack or something. She's always super, 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 super excited. She's over the top Well, your she's signals over the top are flaky excitable. enough. So she, your signals being flaky enough, nobody's um, going to understand what you said. So that's a good thing. 
But yeah, oh, there at you least go. that's good. Yeah. So, so at least temporarily, um, before you guys are up and running, we, yeah, all of, all of these guys are listed on the GPRS website. They do say the dog's name and the dash courtesy listing. Yes. Um, but yes, you, that's, that's one of the places that you can still apply. Um, and then the application will go right to Stephanie and Stephanie, are your dogs, um, they're just adoptable within driving distance, basically, right? The, the, anybody who's they, interested in adopting them, they'll need to come and pick them up from you. Um, we actually do have opportunities for some transport. Uh, within the state is easiest. Here's Kramer. Here's Kramer. But we do we we just got um we just got invited to be able to ship dogs up north uh, by one of my friends at Passport for Pops. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. Boy, what another beautiful dog. Boy, I, I tell you, I like I like them too. He yeah, is tall. Yeah. This one, they're, they're this one dog. is tall. You see those legs? This is Kramer. Kramer is the brother. He is kind of a, you can see kind of a little butterscotchy color. Um, nice muscly legs, no double do's, unlike his brother. And let's see if we can look at something other than his rump. <laughs> there you go. That's a, that's a picture of Kramer. Yeah, there were so, only two of him up there. Yeah, we took some more, but we didn't want to use them all at once. But I don't blame you. here is here's Kramer also. Say hi. Uh, oh, kisses, kisses. I got kisses. All right. So this is Kramer. He's a very good boy. This boy is very good. Both Cooper and Kramer, um, I can tell you would be good with kids. And oh, wow. uh, they would need a, a playmate. They are a little bit higher energy. And come here, baby. I don't want to look at daddy. Come here. And they are crate trained. And Kramer is not as good on a leash as Cooper is because he likes to flip about. But we are working on it. <laughs> How old did you say they were If I if I missed you? They're about 11 uh, months. They're probably closer to a year now, but they were 11 months when we first put them up. They're very young. Yes, they're still kind of in their puppy, like late puppy derpy stages. Um, and they're they're just precious. But they're very good boys. Very wow. good boys. Wow. Okay. So Very pretty. Both of them are very pretty. Okay, who would you say would be next? Uh, make sure I've got okay, it. We're going to do baby girl next. Cool. cool. That's okay, another now baby good girl. One. She is very beautiful. Um, baby, I know, but we're going to have to. All right, well, let's hurry. Don't have much time. Uh, well, well, we'll bring, bring her pictures her up uh, while she's coming. How's that? Okay, that's good. That would be great. Oh. What's her breed? <laughs> she is half peer. I mean, all I know is mom for sure. She's a peer, and it looks to be like some kind of healer, maybe. Or cattle dog of some sort, huh? Or a cattle wow, dog beautiful. of some sort. Yeah, she's beautiful. She is very pretty. Very pretty. And she is pretty inside, too. She is just nothing but kisses and smells. She loves to get her lap. Wants to set your lap and get So she does. So she is very pretty. She's high energy, but she also likes to. She, she's kind of snuggly. Hey, yeah, you were breaking up again she's there, uh, Stephanie. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna mess your router. Okay, you don't have her yet. Yeah, you must not have a good <laughs> signal in that room. Oh. <laughs> she moves as lightning. <laughs> She's very sad. You got to get her to calm down. She's super excited. 
Yeah, we just have where's a still she, shot right where's now. Where's she? Okay. That's better. All right. Oh, look, at her. Look, at her head. look at her. Look at that eye contact. She's a very, very good girl. She's kissing. She's kissing. She's very active. She's kind of bouncing. She loves people. Loves people. Her wow. is going 90 to 99. But she's, she loves people. She loves other dogs. She's still kind of young and she didn't take it too well. Uh, she would love to play with Madison. Madison does not care for her. But she's a very, very girl. Is she hiding under you? Yeah, yeah baby. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, that's too much. Hey, okay. see if we can she? get her to stay. So she's the she same. She's also, also 11, 11 and 12 months. Okay. She, she's the sister to the two. She's the She's the sister for the other two boys we just saw. Oh, so gotcha. she's going to be 11 months, 12 months. She, she is... Never heard anything like them. She's not a thing. Not a thing. And wow. she she had longer, fluffier white hair when she was younger. But she grew out of that pretty quickly. So now she still has some white like mingled in there, right? Of course, because... Maybe from a cattle dog or some kind of healer, but she is leggy, and she does not have any rear dew claws. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this, wow. this is baby girl. Okay. Now, cool. We're running out of time, and people are going to want to see those puppies. Who? Uh, we've only got three left from the original. We thought we were four, actually, with Gaga. But who are you going to try Wait. to bring up next? Um, here, let's go ahead and get Kitty and Pinto out at once. We can do that. Kitty, and then we'll go do Kitty. the we'll, Kitty is beautiful. We'll go get Kitty and Pinto. We just got to get these dogs in and out quicker. Come on, baby. <laughs> it's so not easy. Let's, yeah, let's talk about those two girls. So Kitty, is she, you, she's a German shepherd mix is, or shepherd mix. Is that what you're thinking? Um, Kitty, we're not really sure. The vet thought she might be an Australian mix. Um, okay, an Australian mix. She is. A, she's an owner surrender. Um, she was a neglect case, and honestly, they thought she was a peer, so they contacted us. Uh huh. Um, we. She, as she got older and older, she got more and more butterscotch colored, and we're not really sure what she is. She does have a double coat. She is super thickly coated. I've never seen a dog with almost more hair than Kitty's got, and she is extremely intelligent. She knows all kinds of words. Um, she likes to play games. She is very. She's very good at solving problems. Like figuring out how to get out of something and she's um kind of intuitive so she knows kind of what what people are thinking or what they might do so she's very smart she's going to require um someone that can give her some time she is a high energy she will require some exercise she is good with other dogs providing that they don't think that they're the boss of her <laughs> and <laughs> You know, she is a bossy female, and she is crate uh, trained, and all of my dogs are fully vetted, so she's ready to go. And then and Pinto Bean is a boy. And a dog that you fostered would be unusual if they weren't crate trained. Am I reading that right? Yes. This is Pinto. <laughs> hey, kitten. There's okay, Kitty. Look at Kitty. And she's yeah. about is she about Kitty is born. Kitty is two. 
and we have had her since she was a puppy. So we would love to get her placed somewhere, but look at her coat. Wow, yeah. She is gorgeous. She is a very pretty girl. Very, very cool. Yes. This okay. was um we needed to turn her in, but when we got her, she was in very, very bad shape. So this right here is Pinto Bean. He's a boy. Pinto is a, a red pity, a red pit bull mix. Well, actually, I think it's just pit bull. Just a red one. And this is Pinto Bean. And he's a two-year-old male. Not quite two. That's okay. It's too late. You're going to take it from him? <laughs> and he just stole a bone from somebody. And he is, a, and he's one of ours. He was um, tossed out on the highway in North Dallas. And there's Cutie. And so we took him in. And he's 70 pounds. He's not little. And, and he's a sweet boy. Very said, So, so yes. Pinto's 70 pounds. Okay. Kitty is 86. Oh, 86. Okay. okay. And is he uh, a lot tall. of times? Yeah. A lot of times pit bulls are very vocal players. So when they play, they growl. Is he like that? He's actually not very. Believe it or not, she's the more vocal of the two. She's okay. definitely more vocal than he is because Sheppies are also the same way. Um, she's the louder. He's more jumping around and 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 things like that, but he's he's pretty quiet. Pinto is all kisses and snuggles. He he just wants to play a lot. He likes to get kisses. Very big kissy kissy boy. Um Kitty also likes pets and things like that too, but she likes to be going. She's more of a go girl. Wow. And then that's that's these two. And she's just a very, very good girl. She's she is a good girl. Cool. Ain't that right? right. Kitty, now kitty, that's kitty. um now you uh you said before the show that you had gotten two more in. I did. We have a case that came in this week. Um, it's a peer. And they worried that he'd been shot in the eye. And so they asked me to take it. Um, so I have him. His name is Captain Jack. Captain Jack. Captain Jack. And then I have um, another puppy. I'm not really even sure what it is. Maybe some kind of collie um, mix or something. And his name is Speedy, like Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy. He's always yeah. go, go, go. And well, then you just them, we right? have... So they're not available. <laughs> yeah, they're not available. The, these two left, these are two play buddies. You can tell they're Remember outside the buddies. Magnet, folks. So these are two outside buddies. Pinto is probably one of the sweetest dogs I've ever seen. Like, there's just nothing mean about him. The only thing I'll tell you is he don't want you to take his toys. So if another dog takes his toys, that's the only time I've seen him be ugly. Huh. So definitely well, like to Hey, if you steal like to a child's toy, they're going to cry. In this case, yeah. he doesn't cry. He shows his uh, crying a different way. He does. He is a big old chunk of a bean, ain't he? He's a big chunky bean. I'm getting some kisses. He's a big old chunky right. bean. Okay, well, I know but some he's a good boy. Puppies. I know some people came to see puppies. Well, let's go see puppies. You can go put those up, baby. Uh, oh, Say bye, kittens. Bye, bye. Now, you'll be in a different room. Maybe you'll have a more stable signal, maybe. I doubt it. Right now, I'm not on any router. I'm on AT&T on my phone. Oh, you're on cellular. Oh, okay. Yeah. Actually, then you're doing very well, then. Oh, I have really good AT&T, so. 
So I'm going to step over in here because they're just now waking up and try to step somewhere where there's not diddle. And there's the puppies. They do already. They do already start playing. This little baby right here trying to get me already is Morgan, and this little baby trying to be right here is Pris. So there's Ms. Morgan Pris. and Miss Pris. Miss Pris, they have thinned out a little since that picture. Wow. She is the How lightest the color one. She's like I... a really soft. How old are these pictures? Uh, those are I probably have? about a, Only like about a, a week? week and a half old, maybe. But, but maybe a week and a half before? old. Yeah, I think we're about four weeks now. So that's, we were half our size that we are now. But wow. How'd they are very, very cute. These little this babies awesome. are very cute. This little light colored brindle one, she's biting right now. Um, Miss Pris, she loves to be around people. Whenever I walk in, she immediately wants to get on top of me. And she Aww. is biting again. But she loves to to bite my pants, bite my robe, bite my anything. Look at her trying to bite now. <laughs> Congratulations, you have puppies. Now I do have mama? puppies. Where's mama? Mama is in the other mama is in the other game break. This this right here is Morgan. Morgan wants to bite me too. Can you see? Are they still <laughs> nursing? They are still nursing. And Mama is getting a little worn out with all of these teeth. So we're we're kind of giving her break. Wants, uh, this one so right here, yes. Sir. They are they are a peer mix. Mama is a peer. The daddy seems to be some kind of bully. This is Maeve. Yep, there's beautiful mama. That's Gaga. No. That's Maeve. That's Gaga. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, I had Gaga up, yeah. She's the mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, Morgan just turned my phone where I couldn't even see what was going on. She's such <laughs> a rotten. You see her? You see her being that's rotten? She's crawling all over being rotten. And now they're both getting me. <laughs> yeah, that's a four-week-old puppy. Yeah. He doesn't need a phone yet. You got to wait at least so, two weeks before you get him phoned. <laughs> so, um, and he, this uh, one right Gaga. here is no. Okay. Yeah, so cute. So, Gaga and these puppies are Paris dogs, but they are this, all this still. Yes. This one right here is Meatball. Oh, meatball? Let me see. <laughs> and this one right here. This one right here giving me kisses. Crowded, yeah, you're right. You're All these puppies want to there. give kisses. So. Wow, ain't that something? So cute. Yeah, I think we lost her a little bit here. Lost her yeah, audio. This anyway. is uh, Bailey. Or, no, this, no. This is Maeve. Maeve. This is Macy. Macy. That's Maeve. Maeve. Maisie. Maisie again. Yes. Yes. Meatball, I like his name. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can y'all see? Just something. Yeah, we yeah we see you. Uh, you're um um we're, we're gonna have to get you some Wi-Fi in there though. Oh, I have some. I just don't have it on. This is this is lazy. I was gonna say you've never been choppy before. All the other times you've been on, and now we know. Uh, well, that was in my phone. Wow, you realize we we've had twenty dogs on the show now. Yeah, it's wild. And then this Thank one, you so much, Stephanie. It's just, it's just. This one, it's Morgan. She got a rope. Maisie. Morgan, stop biting. This one is Meatball. This one is Maddox. Oh, Maddox. <laughs> Maddox. 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 There's Maddox. 
All right, we're losing you pretty bad here, um, Stephanie. And that's a good thing because it's it's uh, we're on overtime. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, you will be on your so Wi-Fi next time, right? Because yeah. um, when will thank the puppies you. be available? What? When will they be available? And and are those GPRS okay. puppies? I think they are. Yes, they are. Okay. Oh, there's Gaga. There is Gaga. All right. Yes. Okay. Well, wow, Stephanie, well, thank you so much for, well, starting your own rescue. Texas yeah. now has another rescue. Okay. How cool is that? So, thank you. All right. Well, we're going to let you, uh, we're going to make ourselves same size again. So, you, if you have to exit, you can exit gracefully. But uh, we're going to really want to consider Wi Fi uh, because you did, your, your signal never fluttered before. But um, anyway, Wow. Puppies, 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 huh? Yeah. I can't wait to see what they start maturing into their in their appearance. I think that's going to be interesting, don't you? Yeah, absolutely, because they're so little right now, but they they are their their coloring characteristics are starting to come out. But um like Stephanie said with Baby Girl, she kind of grew out of some of her different colored fur too. So that it's always fun to see them grow and change. And they okay. change so much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Well, what a show. But I got I can't keep it in because I want people to get ready. Does anybody remember the big fluffy butt contest we'd talk about every once in a while? <laughs> We're going to try to kick that off next week. Yes. Um, we created uh, a Facebook page for the show and the Facebook page is simply called the rescue show. And I think that's where we're going to have you submit your photos. You want to make your photos as clear as possible. That's why we created a page for it. We usually don't have a file size limitation that way. And um, we've got three judges from three different rescues. So we're, we're staying away from the bias. The only thing we have to sort out right now is what happens if everybody wins. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but yeah, that's what we're working on. We're going to try to kick that off for the show next week. And we got a good show already and we're working on for next week. No, I think. Yep. yep and, we do. and I believe you're going to be back, aren't you? We, we're going to have, um, we're going to have a um, a dog on that's in the, he's with the Golden Great La Golden Gate Rab Labrador Retriever Rescue. Good things I don't good thing I don't save labs. I can't even say their name. <laughs> and he's a great Pyrenees mix and um, uh, he made a, an appearance uh, what 2 weeks ago uh, or something like that. Yeah. And, but we're actually going to feature him uh, next week. He's going to yeah. be one of our featured dogs. Yeah. I believe um, uh, it's either Great Pyrenees Rescue Resources uh, in Montana or Mountain Mamas, but I believe they're bringing uh, a couple of young ones on. Yeah, they're bringing right. two. Yep. yep. And so, then um, we're going to have two, possibly well, three more puppies. Awesome. Um, from now, Laura's, uh, Laura's bringing a dog on too, isn't she? Yep. Who's so. she have? Eco? Ico, I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Ico, Ico, yeah. Ico will be here. So um, we're we're planning ahead. Sometimes yes. that's hard, especially around holidays. Nobody wants to come on the show. Everybody wants to be with their families of all things. All right. <laughs> but I'm glad you guys. I hope you guys are having a good New Year, and um, we sure are having a lot of fun up here. That's for sure. Yeah. Yes. Twenty dog. That's a new record. Melissa. I know. Uh, Melissa is <laughs> going to have to get it together. <laughs> if she wants to beat that record, but then again, most of these dogs were 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 GPRSs. Um, but the ones that belong to um, Stephanie's Rescue, they are they've got done courtesy listings at Great Pyrenees Rescue Society. Yes. So, so you still um, can apply right there. Okay. Yep. And is that correct? You still go apply right online at GPRS. That's when they send. Uh, okay. Yep. Cool. All right. Yep. So, and she's uh, southeast of Dallas, if I remember right. So that's her area. And, um, but she did say she's working on trying to get some transport together. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Brand new rescue yeah. this week. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. About a new rescue. yeah. Yeah. That's, that's exciting. This, it is exciting. 
Yes. Um, we'll have to get your logo. We'll have to get Stephanie to uh, be, support the show when we get her logo up there on the banners every week. Pretty soon yeah. we'll have more. Yeah. We won't have room for dogs with we'll all the logos, huh? <laughs> yes, we will. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, yeah. Thank, yeah. Thank you again so much, Stephanie. It it's just incredible what you you, you and your family is able to do. Um, you and your husband and your son to to take care of this many dogs is it's mind blowing, and it's such a rare thing. And so. Um, you really, you guys are heroes. So thank yes. you so much. Yep. And uh, thank it's, you. Always fun to have, it's always fun to have Stephanie on the show. It always is. So it is. All right. And I just, I got the best job in the world here every Sunday. So, <laughs> um, all right, everybody. Thank you, Jason, Stephanie. And I'm not going to rattle the dog's names off because we, <laughs> all right. Bye now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>